The Innovator was an exercise in design by objective. Essentially, we wanted to create the next generation aircraft. And in some ways, when we really looked at it honestly, we were trying to get something for nothing. We wanted to go a step further. We wanted to maintain the uh, performance level that's at the top of the class for a two-place fixed gear aircraft. We also wanted to add a level of comfort that maybe exceeded what is commonplace in the aircraft industry. But most importantly, we wanted to add a new level of safety. The Innovator starts out with, uh, for, with safety in mind. The airframe is extremely strong, carbon fiber space frame. Uh, that goes a step further and if the aerodynamics help prevent accidents by being stall spin resistant and having good low speed handling characteristics. We even go to a trailing link type uh, landing gear system, which inherently, from my experience, handles rougher landings a little better. Uh, beyond that, we also offer safety options, such as a ballistic parachute and uh, then air airbag type seat belts. Well, the Innovator is quite a bit different from a Cessna. Doesn't mean that it's actually harder to fly, it's just different. Uh, for one thing, uh, the aircraft is a three surface design, so that gives it good low speed handling characteristics. And you can kind of get used to those low speed handling characteristics, so it might be a little tough to go back to a Cessna. Our aircraft is a relatively low aspect ratio wing, which means that it can fly at a higher angle of attack than most other aircraft can. So there's a time of getting used to that and learning how to use that when you're flying it. So we put a lot of emphasis in our builder program to also have transition training as part of our program. We were getting uh, 16 to 1800 feet a minute in uh, rate of climb in our initial test. We can put people up to six foot eight tall uh, because we have an exceptional useful load. Uh, we're not as concerned about a 21st century person actually sitting in there and we, and we can still put baggage in full fuel in most cases. So uh, we, that also gives us behind the seats up to 24 cubic foot of baggage space. Uh, an option for the aircraft is a folding wing. It uh, essentially folds at the strake on each side and when folded the aircraft is just under eight feet wide for trailering. One wing folds basically over the other wing and we did a considerable amount of testing uh, to 9Gs in this aircraft with no uh, uh, problems at all. So we wanted to make sure that it would handle not only what the aircraft was designed for, but go beyond that. Uh, we are in the north lot in space 624 and 625. 